Well, hi guys, it's Alyssa. I am here with another reading for you today. I hope you've all been doing well. So today's topic was requested. We are going to be asking, are we just friends or is there more to this? So this is for like, if you have somebody in your life and you're not sure if they're romantically into you or not, that's what we're going to be talking about today. We have three piles of cards here. For pile number one, we have blue and purple aura quartz. For pile number two, we have selenite. And for pile number three, we've got Dalmatian jasper. So I will give you guys a few moments to make your choices. And while you're doing that, I just want to um, <clears throat> apologize in advance. I have this kind of gross cough that just started like today um so if i'm coughing in this video i'm sorry also i'm gonna be using a brand new deck which i'm really excited about this is the beautiful creatures tarot by jr rivera um this was sent to me by someone i don't know who um but whoever you are thank you so much for sending me this deck they also sent me an oracle deck which i have not used yet um it's the anubis oracle i want to uh i want to read through like the book on that one before i use it um but this one <clears throat> i've used a few times now and i'm really enjoying it i'm really liking the artwork and I'm really liking the readings that I'm I'm getting out of it and also the edges of the cards are like shiny purple and I love that so that's what I'm gonna be using today <clears throat> let's see oh I'm on Instagram now so if you have Instagram and you want to follow me there it's serpentine daughter just like just like it is here. Um, I do little card pulls every few days and um, updates now and then. So I think we're going to get into this reading. We will start with pile number one. <clears throat> pile one. Are you and your person of interest just friends or is there something more to the connection? <clears throat> okay. Page of Cups. Knight of Cups. Page of Wands. Six of Wands. The Oracle cards that we have, we've got Healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. We also have playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. We also have religious factors and the make the effort cards. So, <clears throat> group one, are you and your person just friends or is there something more? So, <laughs> right away, um, this Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups coming out, like, together, it's pretty clear to me that the person you're thinking about, Group 1, is definitely into you. Um, cups in general tend to represent, like, love, emotions, relationships, <clears throat> the Page and the Knight. Um, both of these cards can represent like messages coming in, um, expressions of love or emotion, um, offers of love being made. Pages are also related to like new beginnings. They tend to represent things that are new, that are fresh, that are just starting out. Um, so these two cards are definitely telling me that the person you're thinking of is certainly very interested in you. And, um, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot of like romantic energy with these two cards. Um, the Knight of Cups in particular, I see as a, a very romantic kind of um, individual. The Page of Cups tends to relate more to like crushes or puppy love, but the Knight is a bit more mature than that. So 
you know, this person does seem to have a crush on you, but it's also like a bit more than that. Um, it's, uh, it's a little bit more solid than just your typical crush. Do you know what I mean? Um, also, we have the Page of Wands. <clears throat> so wands relate to the fire element. Um, these cards are about passion, enthusiasm, magnetism. Uh, they also can relate to sexuality and that type of energy. So, you know, this is this is telling me that the person you're thinking of is not only romantically interested in you, but they're also very physically attracted to you, sexually interested in you. Um, that's not an, I, I wouldn't say that's an element of their, um, how do I want to say this? That physical attraction, the sexual attraction, that's not like a, a really big deal for them. It's not like their feelings for you are just based on that, okay? That's what I'm trying to get at here. Um, <clears throat> but we also have the Six of Wands. This is about victory, success, recognition. Uh, I feel that your person, I kind of feel like your person has maybe tried to get your attention in some way or they have tried to let on to you how they really feel but maybe you haven't picked up on that stuff or you haven't acknowledged that you have picked up on it um and this six of wands is saying to me that they really would like some recognition to know you know whether or not their feelings are reciprocated you know or if you're if you're totally uninterested in them. Um, the Six of Wands also relates to forward movement. So I'm definitely seeing that this person would like an opportunity to move forward with you and kind of deepen this relationship and see what it could be capable of. Um, <clears throat> healing, playfulness, make the effort, religious factors. This card it says religious factors. It says your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Um, this is a card that, for me, um, usually represents like soul connections or destiny, some element of divine guidance in a situation. Um, I really feel like, and also with the make the effort card, it says great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So we have more of that like energy of um, this connection being in some way guided or led. Um, I feel like the two of you <clears throat> have a deeper connection perhaps than you realize or maybe maybe you're aware of it and the other person is not whatever the case i feel that there is a pretty significant like bond that you and this person share and i do feel like this connection does have some sort of higher purpose with the healing card being here like this person could, you know, help you to heal from something that you have been holding on to, to help you close some old wounds that you might have, um, release unresolved emotions pertaining to your past, you know, things, things of that nature, or, you know, you could be very capable of helping them with those types of things um or more than likely you guys could definitely be helping each other to heal from things that you've experienced um but also i feel i feel um like something about past lives not that the two of you have known each other in past lives necessarily it's possible but that's not really um that's not really what's coming through here. It's like helping each other to heal from things you've brought with you from past lifetimes. Does that make sense? Um, 
karma, like I said, unresolved emotions, old, you know, like, like soul wounds, that kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> so if you are also interested in this person, then it looks to me like this relationship could have a lot of potential. Um, the playfulness card, this tells me that you and this individual could have a very positive, happy, and healthy relationship to each other um, if you want that. I feel like for some of you, you, you already have a very playful... Um, for some of you, I'm getting almost like an antagonistic relationship, but in a good-humored kind of way, like the type of relationship where you're, you know, going back and forth with, with each other a lot, bantering, um, teasing each other, but in a playful, loving kind of way. Um, you make this person feel very youthful and very at ease. And that's something that they really, really enjoy about you. Their feeling. Okay, I think for a lot of you, your person is feeling like there's got to be something more to this. They might be, to some extent, aware that there is some sort of soul level connection between the two of you. Um, because they're feeling so led in your direction. They're feeling so led to make the effort with you. Um, they seem to be... Honestly, I don't see anything here that really implies that this person is afraid to come forward or afraid of expressing themselves to you. Um, it's just kind of like... Honestly, for a lot of you, I feel like they have already. They have already expressed their feelings for you, but either you didn't notice somehow, like you just didn't pick up on it, or you ignored it. Um, and now they're just kind of... They don't want to push too much. They don't want to be, like, right you know, right up on you all the time. They're not trying to be overbearing or pushy or anything like that. And so now I feel like a lot of you, your person is just sort of waiting to see what happens, waiting to see if you're going to pick up on what they're putting down or acknowledge the fact that they have expressed their feelings to you or not. Um, because I feel for most of you, they already have. If they haven't, if this person hasn't, as far as you know, tried to tell you how they feel, either you didn't notice it or they are going to very soon, okay? But yeah, um, short answer to this question, group one, yes. There is more to this. This is not just a platonic thing. Um, this person is very, very interested in you romantically, sexually. Um, and also, like I was saying, I, I, I see a lot of potential for you and this individual um, to have, uh, to develop like a, a really positive, loving relationship with each other if you choose to pursue that. Um, so, group one, I'm going to leave it at that. I hope that this was interesting. I hope that this reading resonated with you. Keeping it kind of quick and to the point today. Um, but thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. This is just a general reading, so take what applies to you and your situation and leave the rest behind. Um, if something doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. So, yeah, I hope I see you next time, guys. Bye! Okay, group number two. Are you and your person just friends or is there more to the connection? So, let's see what cards you guys have. We've got the lovers right off the bat. Very interesting. We have the queen of swords. We have the queen of wands. And we have... 
the Five of Cups. Oracle cards. We've got Reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. We have Transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. And we also have Let Go of Control Issues and Forgiving and Learning. So, um, guys, obviously this is a general reading, so what I'm about to say isn't going to be applicable for everybody who picked this pile, but I really feel like for a vast majority of you, this, this seems to be um, a connection that like has been kind of romantic in the past like either you've been with this person like actually in a relationship with them before or that's kind of where things were headed but maybe it never fully panned out like you were interested in each other you flirted with each other things were kind of going that way but then something happened do you know what i mean um <clears throat> okay, <laughs> so um, immediately, this is not just a friendship by any means. This is not just a friendship. Um, the lover's card, I mean, this is this is kind of obvious, right? The lovers, this is all about relationships, um, union, partnerships. This is strong connections between people. It can also represent choice, and I feel that um, there have been some difficult choices made within this situation with this person. I mean, the, the Five of Cups here, this is sadness and loss and grief. Um, this card can also represent pessimism, being very fixated on the negatives in a situation. Um, I get the sense that, you know, you and this person, things have not, things have not always gone well. Um, something happened here between the two of you. There was some, possibly some harsh words that were said with this Queen of Swords card. Um, possibly somebody cut the other person off. Or someone was, someone also might have been really reluctant to embrace their emotions, to embrace their feelings, to embrace vulnerability, okay? Um, but I do get a lot of attraction here. I get a lot of, um, this person sees you as, very, very appealing in a number of ways. Very capable, very intelligent, um, extremely attractive, like physically, but also in terms of your uh, personality, like just who you are as a person is really attractive to them. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I feel like most of you have been with this person before or it, it was like a situation ship where things were leading in that direction, but then something happened. Um, and you're wondering, I feel most of you are wondering, could this ever become something again? Could we get back together? Could we get back on track, like where we were? And I would say, yes, I see a lot of potential for that. Um, transformation, your relationship with each other is about to deepen. This is talking about a very significant change on the horizon for this connection. Forgiving and learning, this is about <laughs> letting go of the past. This is conflict resolution. This is working through problems together and moving forward. Um, we also have let go of control issues here, which says allow the situation to unfold naturally. And the reflection card is really about like giving giving each other space. Um, 
I get the sense that right now you may not be in contact with this person or you might have limited contact with this person. They could be very distant at this point in time, or maybe you're the one being distant. Um, whatever the case, <clears throat> There's um, not, there doesn't seem to be a lot of communication going on, and I think that's because somebody's trying to, I mean, obviously somebody's doing a lot of reflecting and contemplation and uh, introspection regarding this whole situation, and like whatever, whatever led to your falling out in the first place that's what that's what's being addressed here with this reflection card and this let go of control issues so for example um for some of you i feel your person was like really into you but maybe they Maybe they got scared at the last minute and like ghosted you or something, um, which would be, you know, like a, a vulnerability issue, an inability to let their walls down, something along those lines. If something like that were the case, then, you know, this would mean that they're working on being better about that. They're working on allowing themselves to be open and receptive to love and you know their own feelings um they're working on becoming ready for a committed you know meaningful relationship again um and that's just an example that that comes to mind um but like i said whatever the case was whatever happened whatever led to this um ending this separation that's what they're working on right now. That's what they're thinking about. That's what they're trying to work through on their own. And I really feel like when they do that, when once they've made significant progress with that work, um, then I do feel that this person is going to come back towards you. And at that point, this connection can be healed. Things can be forgiven. You guys can you know, move forward together with some some new insights about one another, perhaps, um, lessons learned, and the relationship will have the opportunity to, to deepen and become something more, okay? But yeah, um, this is, this is certainly not just a friendship. Uh, maybe, maybe some of you guys are asking this because like if if this was a situation where you never had an opportunity to be with this person maybe you were wondering like well maybe they weren't actually as interested in me as i thought if if that's something you're um unsure about they definitely were just as interested in you as you thought possibly even more so but they whatever they had going on um and and it seems like a, a them issue like a personal problem um whatever they had going on it was blocking them it was holding them back and they're working on that whatever it is right now um and i feel that you will hear from this person again and when that happens you'll have the opportunity to move forward together um so yeah group two I think I'm going to leave it there for you guys. Um, I hope that this was interesting. I hope that it resonated with you. This is just a general reading, like I said at the start. So, you know, if something doesn't fit into your situation, don't try to make it fit. Um, take what applies to you and leave the rest behind. Uh, yeah. I was going to say something else, but I forgot what it was. So thanks for joining me, guys. I really appreciate it. And I hope that I see you next time. Bye. Okay. And lastly, we have group number three. So group three, let's find out if this is just a friendship or if there is something more to this connection. Okay. So the first card we have here is the seven of cups. We have the King of Swords reversed, 
King of Cups reversed. The Wheel also reversed. Um, the first Oracle card that we have here, it says, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. This one, which says emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. In these two, it is safe for you to love and very soon. Okay, so group three seems to me like there's a lot going on here. Um, the person you're asking about, it definitely seems to me like they have more than just friendly feelings toward you, but it seems like their feelings are very conflicted. Um, um, the King of Cups, this card typically is indicative of like really strong emotions and it also tends to represent like emotional maturity, emotional intelligence, um, you know, somebody who's very sure of what they're feeling and why they're feeling that way. Um, and it's, I think I said this already, but it's related to unconditional love and just really strong emotional bonds between people. So I do get the sense that this person you're asking about is very, very fond of you, is very, like, this person has a lot of affection for you, towards you. Um, with this card being reversed, however, this is like confusion. It's like the feelings are kind of confused. Um, or the feelings, it, it, like they're uncertain about their feelings, like they are aware that there's this romantic element that they, you know, are interested in you in that way, or, you know, they're aware that they have love for you, but there's also something countering those feelings. Um, the wheel card, this is cycles, this is movement, change. Um, fortune turning for or against you. Um, in the reverse position, a lot of times this is stagnation, a lack of movement, um, an ending that is being blocked somehow, just, you know, someone feeling kind of stuck. And the King of Swords, this card is, you know, I see the King of Swords as like a truth teller someone who is willing to um, to be open and honest about their thoughts and about their feelings um, in some cases. In the reverse position, I see this as someone who is unable to speak their truth for some reason or unwilling to do so. Um, in the Seven of Cups, this is also confusion. This is also uncertainty. Um, it says on the card, delusions. So, you know, this card can also be about um, not seeing things for the way that they truly are, being under some sort of illusion. So, it's like this person has a lot of good feelings for you, with the King of Cups being here. And also this card, my love for you is as deep as the ocean. I mean, <laughs> that's, um, that's pretty deep. That's a lot of love, right? But I feel as though this person is unsure about... Okay, I'm getting a couple possibilities here. One possibility is that this person is for some reason convinced that you don't like them in that way or that you you know, the feelings are not mutual. For whatever reason, they feel convinced that you would reject them if they express their feelings to you or tried to make a move on you. Um, another possibility is that they feel that they may have done something wrong in this connection and they feel that you are closed off to receiving them because of that. For some of you, you do definitely have history with this person. Actually, I feel a lot of you probably have history with this person. 
because this feels like the energy of somebody who wants to make things right, but they don't know how, or they're afraid to take those actions because like they're afraid of confrontation, they're afraid of rejection, that kind of thing. Um, now, you watching this, you might feel very receptive to the idea of like working things out with this person or moving things forward with this person, but that's not what they're seeing for whatever reason. From their perspective, they're seeing you as like almost unattainable, outside of their reach, closed off to them. And, you know, I feel for a lot of you, that's not really how you are feeling because we have these two cards here, which talk about, you know, clouded perception, distorted perception, illusions, that kind of thing. Um, it is safe for you to love. This is saying, you know, they have all these feelings for you, but they're not sure if it's safe. They're not sure if it would be wise to express them. Um, very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Hmm. Okay. This is going along with the wheel card. This person is kind of struggling to decide what they want to do here. Also, another thing that just came to me, for some of you, these roles are going to be switched. For some of you, you were the one who was under some sort of illusion in this situation. You might be the one who has a lot of feelings for this person, but you're afraid to express them. If that's you, then this still stands. They're not as closed off to you as they might seem. They're more receptive. They're, they're more receptive to you. They're going to be more open to you than you think. Okay, so take that however it resonates with you. If, if you're the person who's very, you know, um, I, I have feelings, but I'm afraid to talk about them. If that's you or if, you know, you are... Um, if that's not you and it's them it's still still applicable hmm i feel like i want to pull one more of these cards and see if i can't get an idea of like potential outcome or some future energy for this connection because this person like whoever's energy this is they're feeling very stuck they're really like treading water not not going anywhere not in a position where they feel ready to go anywhere so the card that came out says, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and to have all that your heart truly desires. So um, right now, this person is in a very stagnant, very stuck energy, um, very passive energy as well. I don't see them taking any real action soon, um, which is funny because the very soon card is here. Um, I mean... This is a general reading, obviously, so, like, the timing for you guys, it's it's going to be different for everybody. For some of you, they will take some sort of action relatively soon, but in general, I get a very passive vibe from this person. Um, but this card is saying eventually they will build the courage to say something, to do something, um, but... You know, it's really a matter of, like, are you willing to wait for that to happen? Um, are you willing to initiate something first? If not, then, unfortunately, I'm not sure that this connection 
has much potential to go anywhere. If you are willing to wait or if you are willing to, you know, initiate something and be patient with this person, then there could be potential for this to go somewhere, um, for this relationship to deepen, strengthen, become something more. Um, but yeah, this is the short answer to the question of, are you friends or is there something more? There's, there's definitely something more here, but this person or you, whoever, whoever's energy this is, somebody is really, really reluctant to open up about it. Okay. So, um, I'm going to leave it at that group three. I hope that this resonated with you. I hope this was interesting. Um, like I said, this is just a general reading, so take what applies to your situation and leave the rest behind. If something doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. Um, follow me on Instagram, Serpentine Daughter, same way it's spelled here. I offer private readings if you're interested in that. Um, I'm probably going to upload this on Thursday, March 5th. So starting tomorrow through March 15th, I will be away. I will be out of town. So I'm not going to be able to take orders for larger readings like video readings and audio readings, but I will be able to do like short one or two question readings. I'll be able to do pendulum readings this week while I'm away. Um, so if you're watching this around the time that it's uploaded, um, in in that time frame that I just said, March uh, 6th through the 15th, um, just be aware of that if you do want to get a reading. Um, I'm just not going to have the space or the privacy to actually record stuff. Um, but if you're interested in like a shorter um, email reading, let me know. Hit me up. Go to my Etsy store. The link will be in the description as always. Um, so anyway, I think that will do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And I hope I see you next time. Bye.